It's Friday, August 6, 2010. I'm Jeff Bacalar, and it's time to get loaded. The next iPod Touch may ship with a built-in front-facing camera, just like the one that's currently on the iPhone 4. Mac rumors got their hands on what appears to be a leaked photo of a new iPod Touch LCD screen that clearly outlines a spot for the camera. Apple has a knack for releasing new iPods in September, so odds are you won't need to wait long to FaceTime on the new Touch. Following up on a story we told you about earlier in the week, Saudi Arabia has officially turned the switch off on Blackberries. Some 700,000 citizens instantly lost their cell phone service after their government ignored warnings from RIM CEO. Now, service can be restored if the smartphone manufacturer agrees to allow a data center to be built in the country to monitor users, which isn't really likely about to happen. In ebook news, Amazon has launched its first Kindle bookstore in the UK, bringing along 400,000 titles. Users can visit the store at amazon.co.uk slash Kindle store. Books are priced anywhere from 2 to 11 pounds, and there are actually some titles going for much cheaper than they do here in the US. The company is also taking pre-orders on the new Kindle e-reader, which is going to be priced at £149. Amazon keeps on giving with news today that the online retailer is selling over a thousand albums for just $5 each. The DRM-free MP3 tunes offer something for everyone, ranging an artist from Lady Gaga to Coldplay to Huey Lewis. Finally, The Dark Knight is returning to video game consoles with a sequel to the 2009 critically acclaimed hit Arkham Asylum. Batman Arkham City will give gamers a much darker experience, tuning into the feeling that moviegoers got seeing Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. We'd recommend going back and playing Arkham Asylum again though, because Arkham City isn't due out for another year from now. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.